Juan Miro is un artista, él es artístico, listo y atrevado. Practica el arte diferente es único, le gustar pintar y hacer esculturas. The famous Spanish Catalan artist was born in Barcelona on April 20th, 1893. He had worked in sculpture, painting, and he also worked on ceramics. His mother and father had jobs that were in the arts, so he was exposed to them his whole life. Initially, he went to a business school at the same time he worked as a clerk in an office until he had a complete mental and physical breakdown. It was then his parents let him attend an art school. He had been struggling with a typhoid illness, but he finally overcame that in 1911. He was greatly inspired by Vincent van Gogh and Paul Cezanne, so he eventually devoted his entire life to painting. In 1918, Miro was set up for his first solo exhibit at the Dalma Galleries in Barcelona, which turned out to be a huge disaster. On a lighter note, Miro got to meet his future wife, Pilar Juncosa, on his summer trip to Palma, Spain. Later, he got to travel to Paris and hold his first one-man show in 1921. It was finally a success. His painting, The Tilled Field, took off soon, marking the turning point in his personal style. Like he once said, the works must be conceived with fire in the soul, but executed with clinical coolness. Early 1930s, Juan Miro took an interest in a certain type of artwork, which eventually led him to make surrealist sculptures. Curious to follow, he was known for working in various art forms. During the final years of his career, much of the work Miro created took more of an interest in symbolism and the message that was being portrayed, so less focus on the theme and more on the symbolism. It was completely new to everybody, so he got a lot of attention for the uniqueness. In 1976, the Juan Miro Foundation Center of Contemporary Arts was opened in Barcelona, his home city. Four years after it opened, he was named the Dr. Honoris Casa by the University of Barcelona for all the work he had done, as well as his influence on art. He sadly passed away on December 25th, 1983 from cardiovascular disease. He changed many people's lives and will forever be remembered.